At the top tonight, parents of special needs students voicing their concerns. Parents say the needs of their children are not being met at school. They say the Texas Education Agency and school districts are to blame for this. Channel 5's Ana Anguiano joins us live from Aridalgo County Bureau with more on this story. Ana. This is all over a Houston Chronicle investigation into the denial of services to special needs students across the state. Because of that organization's report and what it entails, the U.S. Department of Education launched a series of listening sessions, hoping to hear parents' concerns for themselves. And we're doing our kids a disservice in this state. Parent. They told me physically to my face, I don't have time for your child. After parent. Both of my children qualify for these services. Why are they not being offered? After parent. Voicing their issues with the education of their special needs child. Advocates, too. Our kids, we've had to pull them out of school because your schools are failing us. Each one at the podium tonight voicing similar issues with special education at local schools. Lack of screening, a denial of service, inattention from educators, and the absence of necessary equipment needed to help special needs students grow. In front of the podium, representatives with the U.S. Department of Education Special Education Program and the Texas Education Agency hosting a listening session at Region 1 in Edinburgh. It's a fourth of fifth meetings to happen across the state. Recently, concerns have been brought to our attention about the decreasing um, identification rate in Texas for students with disabilities. Those concerns highlighted in a special investigation by the Houston Chronicle. That investigation helping to launch a federal probe into TEA's 8.5% indicator, allowing only a small portion of special education services to school districts. The Houston Chronicle says it's the lowest rate of any other state in the country. So that's a fairly significant decrease, and it's quite different from the federal rate, which is about 13%. CORE SAYS THERE IS NOTHING IN THE LAW THAT PRESCRIBES THAT A STATE NEEDS TO BE AT A PARTICULAR PERCENTAGE. THE LAW REALLY IS DIRECTED TOWARDS uh, PROVIDING INDIVIDUALIZED SERVICES TO EACH ELIGIBLE CHILD. PARENTS SAY SCHOOL DISTRICTS AREN'T MEETING THE NEEDS OF THEIR SPECIAL NEEDS CHILDREN. No word on how long the Fed's probe will last or what exactly will come out of it. There is still one more listening session that will be held. If that's tomorrow in Austin. You can also submit written comments if you can't make it. We'll place a link on where you can do that on our website, krgb.com, after the newscast. Live in the Hidalgo County Newsroom, Ana Anguiano, Channel 5 News at 10.